Well, hello everyone. I'm Steve. Mark's around. Say hi, Mark. And this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Either welcome or welcome back. Happy day indeed. It's another Steve will try it. So, this week we can't eat any of it. Well, not necessarily, but they're not edible products. I have two that we're going to be looking at. One was a gift and one was something that we have purchased. So the first, the gift, is the Great He, as seen on TV. It's a gourmet cheese grater. Okay, so from what I can see, the gist of this is that it's like a cup, you put the cheese in, you put a thing in the top, and as you screw it, cheese comes out here. It says hard cheese, um, cheddar, uh, if you don't want to do cheese, you can do eggs, you know, for um, egg salad, things like that. So we're going to give it a whirl and see what's what. And also, we have Ruby Monkey Magnets. Now, I didn't think we needed this for anything until we started looking closely at the kitchen and the kitchen cabinets, which could use some love. Uh, these are supposed to be super duper easy to install. Um, you can use them to do like a sliding door, kitchen cabinets, uh, anything where you want a little extra tug before the door just comes open, or that when you close the door, it boom and reopens again. So it's meant to address that. You can either screw it into the wall, or they can be attached with adhesive. So, let's go play with some cheese, rig up some cabinets, and see what's what. Well, here we are in the kitchen, and we're going to be trying first the Grady. So, Again, it was a lovely, lovely gift. Um, we need some cheese, right? This is all the stuff that came in the box. You have the device itself. It has this, which is a plunger piece. That's where the cheese goes. It's kind of small. And this is the body of the thing. It holds on to it. And if you get all your cheese grated and everything, you can tuck it together and put it into the fridge like that. There's two blades that come with it also. So inside part comes out. This is the blade that goes on the bottom. This is the coarse one. This is the fine one. There's a little pin that you got to pull out. Coarse blade down, fine blade, sharp parts facing in. I know I'm excited too. So there we go. So we got the fine blade on. So we're going to put it in there. Here's our plunger. Just need the cheese. Now I have to say, I'm already like a little disappointed because I have to cut the cheese before I can grate it into like a pretty small size to fit. So we'll put one in each side, put this in, and we're gonna turn to the right and see what comes out. This is not difficult, but I will be sweating shortly. Seems like a lot of work for not much cheese, actually. All right, give me like a minute, and we'll come back when I'm over it, and I'll tell you how long it took to make that much. A little bit better, okay. All right. No BS, I've been doing this for two minutes straight. My arms are about to pop. It feels like I did some roofing. And this is how much cheese we have. I use the fine setting. Now, I don't know if you have a box grater, but have you ever spent more than one minute grating cheese before by hand? So, you're supposed to be able to store the bits and pieces in here. Uh, let me see, how do we do this? That goes on the bottom, and then this would go either into the top, or you can switch this out and it's supposed to fit on top too, I believe. Maybe not. There we go. Okay, so we have cheese. I don't know. Jury's out. I'm gonna check out the other product. We're gonna look at the monkey magnets and then we'll reconvene on the couch to see what's what. You push it. You try to slide it, you even try to hold them shut. But your doors just won't stay closed no matter what. Are you tired of those doors that just won't close? What about the safety concerns of an open cabinet door? Ow! 
Well, no more introducing Ruby Monkey Magnets, the brand new ultra thin magnetic plates that will keep your doors and drawers shut. They're perfect for cabinets, sliding doors, dresser drawers, blinds, and more. Never suffer with slamming drawers and doors again. Uh-oh. The secret is the ultra-strong industrial magnet providing powerful attraction. These magnets are so strong, they can hold a 15-pound hammer. Well, thank heavens for that! It's so easy to use Ruby Monkey Magnets. Just peel to reveal the super strong adhesive. Place the monkey, then the magnet, and close. Installation is that simple. Every drawer and door stays closed with Ruby Monkey Magnets. Get yours today. And we're back. So, the next product that we're going to be doing is the Ruby Monkey Magnets. So, they come in different packages. You can get enough for a room, a half a house, or a whole house. This is enough for just a room. And as you can see, we have a lot of cabinets. We'd probably need more if we were doing everything. But what we're going to try to cure today with the monkey magnet is this. See how that opened? See how that opened? Okay. So these initially when they were installed had some, well, they have some aging products. There's magnet here, but there's nothing over there. On the inside of some other ones, it's the same thing. So what we're going to do is attach it down here at the bottom where this meets and this meets. It'll be a snug fit, but we can't put it up here because this creates a little distance at the top. So we're going to use it down here. All right. So you get eight brackets and with eight of them, there's two parts. There's the monkey and there's Ruby. You have two ways you can attach these guys up here. You can use an adhesive strip. They give enough for all eight of them. Thank you, 3M Core. Or they give you some screws. If you want something more permanent, you can screw them in. You're going to need a Phillips head to do that, a small one. We're going to go with the adhesive. And the directions were pretty straightforward. So I'm going to take off. This is double-sided. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to put it on the back of this one, of the Ruby one, or Ruby's gonna go over here. So I'm gonna hold it just for a few seconds just to warm it up. They recommend up to 30. We'll see what's what. The back has to come off. So this, I watched the QVC infomercial and the woman from the company had a hard time getting the back off. So there's Ruby. And for the directions, we're gonna hold here for 30 seconds. So we'll see you in 30. Right, that was our 30 seconds. Feel secure. And now to match on the other side, we're going to attach it to the corner here. We did pre measure, if you can see that magnet that's down below. Little paint never hurt nobody. And we traced it from here to here. So do yourself a favor and do that, otherwise, you'll be moving things. And with the adhesive the way it's being, I don't think you'll get it off. So Monkey is going to go up here. We're going to take another strip. You want the monkey facing in if you're like me, because then you'll remember. Peel off the adhesive. Woohoo! I'm not doing too bad with that. And then we're going to apply over here. You have a little wiggle room when you first put it on, and then you just got to hold it. So we're going to hold again for another 30 seconds, and then we'll find out what's what. Okay, it's been another 30 seconds, so let's see. I'm going to close the door. I heard it. Now, what they claim is that it'll give you just that little bit of resistance. It's not a child safety door or anything, but it'll buy you a little time if you have little hands running around, too. From this open, and it stays shut. No slamming, no nothing. Um, this was rather easy to install. Again, we have a lot of kitchen cabinets, so I think I'll be making a little tour today but also sliding doors, closets, pocket doors, a lot of different ways you could probably think to use it. If you just want a little bit of something, you don't want the to bang. Um, so we'll sit down on the couch. I'll look at maybe some other cabinets, see what I think. And um, we'll settle up with the Grady and the monkey magnets and we'll have our final words.
my ode to Sophia, I do declare. My, oh my, just look at that hair. <laughs> you had an uncertain future and a pretty rocky start, but look at you now, just melting my heart. <laughs> You're the most famous, as seen on TV. Way more famous than Gaga Springsteen or, or Christy McVie. Christy McVie is dead. I know that, but you try to find something that rhymes with TV. Glee, wee, glee. Glee, glee, really, really. You're the most famous as seen on TV, filling my head and my heart with glee. <laughs> okay, is that better? Is that better? <laughs> now Steve knew he just had to give you a try with no questions asked like what or how. Um, why? Why, why? <laughs> And I can't wait to give you another run. That is, of course, once this hairdo is all done. <laughs> Those chia seeds they certainly took. Now everybody wants to get a look. Now, of course, that could be because those roots make you look kind of spooky. Don't look at me like that, I'm not kooky. <laughs> okay, I know that's a stretch, but look, I'm trying here, okay? Okay? I think okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> I declare my ode to Sophia, my beautiful, beautiful cha 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 chia <laughs> Say it, everybody! <laughs> cha cha chia cha 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 all right, that, that, that puts Sophie at a rest now. Well, welcome back to the couch. So, some final thoughts. Now, we'll start with the, um, the monkey magnets. So, went around... Some other parts of the house found some other great places that we could do this. These worked. The kitchen cabinet, it closes now and it stays closed. So, suggestions. If it's going to be something permanent, use the screws. Because I had put the adhesive on both sides and closed the door. And I had let it cure for the 90 seconds or whatever. It will take up to 24 hours though, according to the directions, to be like, set, set, set. So what we have now is it's set, but it's open. So I held it close as much as it said to. Um, but again, go for screws. I think it's your better bet. And we'll give you a follow-up if the adhesive fails. I'll mention it in a live or something. So I'm giving this product two thumbs up. Very easily two thumbs up. It works. It's nifty. You don't have to find tools if you just want to use the adhesive. So it's not too fussy. It's not difficult. I was able to make sense of it very quickly. And I sometimes have a hard time catching on. So... I give it two thumbs up. Now, on to the Grady. So, what do we think of the Grady? Well, it was a little difficult to use. Now, I have chicken arms. You know, it makes the rest of me look bigger. Um, but the grinding, the pulling, for not a whole lot coming out at the end, it was like, I felt like that Mr. Icy thing where, like, just little bits of snow come out. Gave it a few good cranks. It was still very hard. Um, I was not terribly impressed with it. The cheese came out okay, but a box grater would be just as fast, and having to cut it up to cut it up smaller seems like a waste to me. Um, for what it did, it did it okay. So I'm gonna give it one thumb up. Up its... One thumb up. And Mark had some opinion. Mark! Yeah? Come here, dearest. He had some feelings about the Grady as well, so I just wanted to check in with oh, him. Oh, the Grady? The Grady. What was your verdict on this? <laughs> I was only, I was a one thumb up. Yeah. Out of possible I'm two. I'm sorry, but I didn't like it. I have to give it a, a, a zero. Is it, can I do a negative thumb? If you need to, <laughs> sure. <laughs> no, I'm, okay, let's be... No, no thumbs, zero thumbs for me. Now look, I found it very difficult to use. 
Now, I do have arthritis, so it was very hard to turn. Mm -hmm. And I used, like, the cheese wasn't really that hard. I mean, it was a soft cheese. Um, it took forever to get an amount to use. You can only use small amounts at a time. I found it quite difficult to change the little, the little discs on it. Like, it's just tedious, and it takes, I will stick with my boxed grater anytime. <laughs> well, just my opinion, though. It was really cool to try it, definitely. Great. Thank you, Mark. But you're welcome. Well, I guess that's, that's where it'll stand for tonight. So thank you for joining to watch our little Steve will try it. We will try it. Um, if you like these products, I'll put some links down in the description. No affiliate links. It's just fun stuff that we found to give it a whirl. And then the gift that we had as well. So thank you all for joining. Thank you all for watching. Please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Get alerts when we have new videos and go live. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our contact info is below. Thank you, and I will catch up with you very soon. So, so thank you for watching, and we'll catch up with you soon. Say bye, Mark. Bye.